guys, welcome back to another episode of Nye Kingdom, bringing you um, a New Year celebration. And this is Brandy Parker, and yeah. And something I wanted to show before I became a scholar too, but it's just a, something I wanted to show you. But anyways, let's get on to the New Year celebration then, shall we? Because now it's kind of changed. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations on a new year. And now we'll be honored to hear a New Year's message from their majesty. I am truly delighted that we were able to spend this year in peace and prosperity and to greet the new year this way as well. Thank you, your majesty. Next, in accordance with tradition, we will hear vows before the god Shizni from representatives of all social institutions. We, Roselle Imperial Knight Guardsmen, swear unswerving loyalty to their majesty and to the subjects of the kingdom. We swear to train vigorously to be the kingdom shield and to drive away all male factors. We, Dormy Mountain Corps, keeping with the vow our founder Dormy Niv made with his majesty the first king, do swear to endeavor for the kingdom's prosperity and to be a wall protecting the kingdom to drive away all male factors. We, the Galfin Scholars Association, in return for such ardent protection, do swear to research the truths of the world and to bring the fruits of that research to everyone in the kingdom. We, the Farmers Management Association, following the guidance of the gods and receiving the blessing of the goddess of the, Furti or of the harvest, Furtis, do swear to work every day to make sure that people never go hungry. I am deeply moved that in the long history of our kingdom, these vows have never been broken. Let us continue to devout ourselves to the kingdom's prosperity. And as it ends. But I wanted to showcase what I look like now. I've changed my outfit again, yes, and this is what I'm wearing. So, cute bow with this pretty dress. Oh, I'm just loving it on Samantha. The bow makes all the difference. I didn't like the dress at first, but when I put the bow on, it just completed the whole outfit. But what this is, is the checkered ribbon yellow for the um, ribbon she's wearing. And for the outfit, it's a retro, it's called Retro Dress Navy is what she's wearing for her outfit. So yeah, and of course, until um, Samantha becomes a scholar. And we're back. So, um, yeah, you know how Evelyn died? Well, Edgar's going to be dying this year too, so... I'm just going to give him his, of course, goodbye gift. Here you go, Starry Sands, just as a goodbye gift. And then, of course, we'll get to his death and, of course, the funeral. Okay, guys, Edgar Dyson's death and, of course, after that, the funeral. So let's get on to it then. Can't believe this, though. The legendary Edgar is dying! No! Life's light is fading. Soon, Edgar will be directed to Ganos. Grandpa! Oh, Tony, I cannot believe you had to deal with both of your grandparents' deaths. Oh, my goodness. I have no regrets. As long as everyone is happy. Grandpa! Holy Naga, use your messenger. Lead this soul that belongs to the gods to the land of Ganos. And, of course, until the funeral... All right, guys, Edgar Dyson's funeral. So, and I'm going to do this as a little precaution thing before I'll go to talk to all of, like, Samantha's siblings and the other family members to see if I can have a conversation come up about the loss and whatever. If anything doesn't come up, well, then we'll get on to the part where Samantha will be a musketeer in the scholar. So let's get on to the funeral then. Last night, a, travel, uh, a traveler left for Ganos, guided by the god Naga. The remains have been laid to rest in our kingdom, and now their soul can find everlasting peace among the gods. We can no longer speak as before, but through the gods we can sense the departed soul. As long as those of us who remain here do not forget. Gods in heaven, we ask that you wrap our brother in the cloth of peace. Holy Shizni, give those remaining in this world your love and solace. So, of course, if anything comes up. And we're back with, of course, the next year, me becoming a musketeer. So, admire Samantha's clothes for now because they are about to go away. So, we'll just admire this for one more time. Her cute outfit here. Just admire it for a little while. And now it's going to go away in exchange for the new outfit. So, we're going to remove that and remove that. 
we'll get on to the next year, and then we will be a musketeer, and also moving into a new house as well, which I do not know how long I'll live in, so we'll see how long I live in it. Happy New Year. Daisy had a baby. Moving on. Shouldn't I have the scholar outfit? I'm pretty sure I should have the scholar outfit. Do not tell me they kept me in the Imperial Knights. If they did, I'm going to be very upset. Come on. Let's find out that our outfit changed. It better have changed. Do I want to go out? Um, how about another time, Mikkel? I need to find out if I changed jobs. Did I not? I was ahead in the scholars, so why am I not in the scholars? Oh, well, I'm in the Elnia Cup. Well then, um, even if I got in first place, it didn't seem to matter because I'm still in the Imperial Knights. Great. Um, wow, plans did not go accordingly. Well, I'll still be trying to get to be a scholar next year, and then finally a scholar guru after that, but doesn't look like we're going to be moving. I cannot believe this. Why did the game do this to me? Oh, that's terrible. Well, until the next time of becoming a scholar. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you on the other side.